Thank you, Dr. Triggle, for those remarks. Now we will have remarks by the senior class president, Dr. Samuel Aiken. It's a tough act to follow. Anyways, I'll try my best. Um, so hello, uh, everyone, and greetings to all my classmates, their family and friends, and members of uh, the faculty here. You know, it's very hard for me to believe that it's been four years since we were in this room together. Uh, we were just getting ready to start our journey through pharmacy school. But we're here again, probably our last time together as a group, and we're ready to get started on the next great journey. So what do we say about these last four years here? We've gone through school to learn how to be pharmacists, but we've also learned who we are as people and professionals. I look at the accomplishments and accolades that our classmates have gathered since we've been here, and I can't help but be amazed. I mean, look at this front row here. Through national organizations, scientific research, and good old-fashioned dedication, this class has made a lasting impact on the school, the profession, and the patients that we serve. I also look out at the individuals in this room and on this stage, and I realize that while education was our goal here, the people are what we'll really remember. At the beginning, we were a group of people uh, from many different backgrounds, and really hardly any of us knew each other. Uh, since then, we've become classmates and colleagues who have shared in the successes and failures of each and every other person in this class. We leave the school having formed some of the closest friendships and bonds of our lives. You know, knowledge changes, but the people that we're with will last a lifetime. So where does this leave us for the future? The great philosopher Yogi Berra once said, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. We're definitely at a fork, and we're all choosing to take it in different directions. Some of us are headed into community practice. Others have chosen to pursue postgraduate residencies, fellowships, and other training. And then others are entering long-term care or regulatory affairs. In 10 or 20 years, the possibilities of what we'll be doing are endless. Starting tomorrow, we have the rare gift and incredible privilege to do whatever we want with our careers and the profession. And that's what we've chosen to do. I think Yogi would be proud. It's difficult to say how we'll view our time here once we've been removed from it for a few years. Some of us may view our time as nothing more than a means to an end and really not think all that too much about it. However, I think most of us will share my thoughts and view the time spent at UB as some of the best years of our lives. I can't think of a group of people that I would have rather spent my time with here. I'll miss everyone here and I wish you all the best. Good luck, God bless.